Hi, I'm Jeff Seidenfaden, the Pet Guy. Our show is for pet lovers and really anyone that wants to learn more about the human and animal bond. Today, we're going to go in for a senior pet checkup. We're going to check out some great geriatric pet products and then meet some wonderful adoptable animals. It's all coming up today. I'm Jeff Seidenfaden, the Pet Guy. Hi, I'm Jeff Seidenfaden, the Pet Guy, and this is my best friend, Max. You know, choosing a pet is a serious commitment to me. When you adopt a puppy or kitten from a shelter, you're getting a lifetime of love and responsibility. Those playful puppies and kittens grow up over time, and the bond between human and animal becomes an amazing story. This is our story. Well, Max's showbiz career started the day he was adopted. <laughs> he, uh, he was on the show with me. We, we showed exactly what it uh, was like, what you should do when you adopt a puppy. Um, from there, you know, really, he, he's kind of been everywhere with me. So as we, you know, talk about humane education, as we talk about pets, he has joined me on television. He's joined me in the schools if we go talk to kids. Um, we hosted a radio show together for a while, and he was in the studio when we would go in and do that. Um, news segments, you know, he was, he's made a great guinea pig over the years. I can't tell you how many people have learned how to trim their dog's nails off of Max's. Um, he's willing to do everything. We've brushed his teeth on TV. We've trimmed his nails. Um, you know, really everything. It's funny when you look at Max, the reason that I adopted him is I had never had a big dog. So I was adopting a shepherd husky mix. But as we soon learned a year later, he was never going to be the size of a Shepherd Husky. But um, it worked out great. I got a um, big dog and a small dog's body. Well, the first step anytime you adopt a pet is to get in for your puppy exam, um, or really just your new pet exam. Um, not everybody adopts a puppy. Max obviously was. Um, so went in and, and saw the vet and talked about his breed, talked about things to look for, and went through to make sure he was healthy from the get-go. Um, from there, you know, really it was coming back and going through the house and seeing, you know, I had an adult dog and I had three cats, but I hadn't had a puppy in a while. So what were the things that I needed to make sure were um, up in a way that uh, he wouldn't get into? Uh, and really went through each room and made sure that uh, each room was puppy proofed. Max hasn't had the simplest life with me. I've had a couple of different careers. I've moved out of town three times, so he's been on the road quite a bit with me. We've been lucky to have kind of a central home base uh, that he has always been able to come back to, that we always come back to, but he has been on the road quite a bit, so he's gotten to know other cities. Uh, over the years, he has, has lost family members with uh, dogs and cats. It's just him and his, uh, his stepbrother, adoptive brother right now that uh, lives with him. Um, but I think he's had a good life. Um, we make sure that there are things that are constant no matter what's going on, no matter where we live, uh, so that he, he has that sense of balance. It is odd to look back over the years and think of, of Max you know, as a puppy and, and everything that over the past 12 years we've been through together. Uh, and now to be transitioning from those exciting training years and, and trying to shape uh, the type of dog that I hoped that I would have. Um, and, and now recognizing that I've had uh, all of that time with him and he had become that dog. Um, so, so very, very proud of this little guy that he's been such a great companion uh, over all of these years. And now making sure that I'm, I'm there for him in every way necessary um, as he continues to age. And as we hope for you know, many, many more years to come, making sure that those years um, are the same quality and better than those uh, as he was growing up. One thing that's important as your pets start to age, and really from any age, you should start everything early on um, with brushing their teeth. Um, obviously, they, you know, with, at the gum line, they do have um, you know, a propensity to, to get bacterial infections, especially in older dogs. They get a lot of plaque buildup, so make sure that you're keeping their teeth clean. Um, prevents some, some pretty serious issues in the future. Also, as he started getting older, uh, making sure he's not jumping quite as much as he did. He used to love to be up on the bed, but it's, uh, it's a pretty high bed, so don't want him jumping off of the bed in the morning. So just making sure I'm there for him and, and keeping an eye out for that. Uh, 
little things too, the treats that he gets, um, glucosamine treats. And, and really with Max and really with, with any dog, I don't recommend a lot of treats. I don't recommend varied treats. Um, his treats have always been uh, the same brand as his, his dog food. So he um, got very few treats and the treats that he did get were very high quality. Uh, I think that you can do a lot with reward, with praise. It doesn't always have to be food associated. Um, so making sure that, that what went in him was always good quality. Um, now making sure that I get into the vet often enough so that I know if there are preventatives that I can do. Having him on thyroid medicine now to make sure that we're keeping him healthy. Checking his skin and his ears regularly. Um, keeping his nails trimmed so he doesn't have um, any instances of, of you know, getting his toe caught in the carpet and twisting a leg or anything that may really be harder on him now as an older dog than would have been as a puppy. Uh, same thing with time outside and walking in the heat of the summer making sure that he um, is comfortable and not pushing him as hard as maybe as uh, I would have when he was a younger dog. You know, Max and I don't think of it as a finite time left. Um, we really take each day for what it's worth and enjoy the best of everything. Um, like I've said before, I think that we have many years left together and that's the way that we're going to spend each day. I think the important thing for anybody that, that has a pet and, and I've been through it and, and I've you know, spoken with many other people about it as they go through the, the later years with a pet and possibly go through illness, um, of when to know if it's time to make the very hard decision. And I think what keeps me sane with that is um, I think that they want to please us. And dogs and, and cats and really any animal often will suffer to keep us um, from suffering. So there comes a time when we need to make that decision, not for ourselves, uh, but for our pets, and to make sure that we're, we're taking the best care of them. And sometimes that does mean making that ultimate hard decision. Um, that's why it's important from the first puppy exam on to have that great relationship with your veterinarian so that you can work together and truly understand when, when pain may be too much and when you're, you're keeping your pet going for you rather than for them. You know, I, I don't think that I would ever change a thing. Um, Max has been the most amazing dog that I ever could have hoped for. Um, and I know that, that when his time comes and he's no longer with me, um, I don't think that I will ever be as lucky as I've been to have, um, to have this guy with me. He truly has been a, a once in a lifetime pet.